Right, part two, getting this uh, ABS pump done. So all the wheels are jacked up, We've got axle stands underneath. So let's, uh, let's see how well this goes. Give that a clean off. Same with the new unit. So we're not getting any muck in the, uh, in there. So I'm just gonna jump in here. I did find a guide on the internet, which I sort of used on the whole, but um, I'm probably gonna jump in a few times throughout this video because there were some things we did different. And the first thing is that we probably didn't need to jack the car up because we didn't actually bleed the brakes from the calipers in the end. So um, I'm gonna start the video with me taking off the, th the six uh, pipes off of the pump which you can see on the uh, illustration that I've put on the screen. And that's actually the main things that you have to remove from the pump. Uh, from It's pretty straightforward to remove, but anyway, we'll go back to the, uh, the video. What you want to do is the two pipes that go to the uh, reservoir. Probably we need some uh, first thing we need to do is get this plug off, which means, uh, oh, it's never easy, is it? <coughs> the plug off. Okay, <laughs> now we can continue with the brake pipes. And obviously we're going to do all four of those off camera. That's the multi-pin plug, that's what you have to pull out. Well, it snapped off the <laughs> Yeah, I snapped that just the other end of that when I was trying to use a screwdriver on it. So the next thing is these kind of pipes sort of need to be moved out of the way. You don't want to break them, and then this, this needs to be pulled off the bottom. It's, it's got some rubber bungs under there. Five minutes later, worst bits of the job I'm getting a pump off. Had to be in there a few years. <laughs> So the pump's off and took it into the kitchen with the new pump and now we need to swap over the ECUs because I need to use the old pump ECU um, on the replacement pump otherwise it needs coding. Remove these two and then that will ECU off which we need to keep otherwise we have to uh, 
reprogram the other ECU for the car. should come off of here. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is undo the other one first and then uh, yep, the pumps off both. Just very carefully take that off of there. So that is the ECU we want but with this pump the old one. Put this one on here. Right, now to put it back on the car. So we're gonna put this back in. in that has to go because it's wondering whether I should put the um, plastic bits in the rubber bits in first actually Let me put the rubber bits in first I've taken the rubber bits off I put them on separately because it's a lot easier. in now. Just need to work out which ones go where. Oh. Put this back in. Need to make sure that is right out. And then goes down back. that down it just tightens up the <laughs> there we go so we've got the brake bleeder on that needs to be pumped up to 20 psi And this is where we did things slightly different again. When I borrowed the brake bleeder from a local garage, um, they said to me, you probably won't need to bleed it at the calipers. Um, so the four pipes on top of the pump that go off to the calipers, if you just leave them slightly open, the pressure 
because we haven't touched anything on the calipers, the pressure should bleed from the top of the pump. So we're basically bleeding from from uh, the, the joints on the pump rather than at the other end, at the caliper end. And so that's what we did. We basically undid those, each, each one at a time. Some air came out, uh, along with some sort of old dirty fluid, basically that was pushed through from the pump. And um, it worked. We had a solid pedal after that. So just uh, done a fork code because the we've changed the pump, but the light's still on. So I'm hoping that maybe by deleting it, brake pressure sensor. So that is the, the normal issue. Uh, so let's see. Let's clear the codes. There are a number of codes on there for different things, but then it has had a flat battery. Uh, but we cleared the brake pressure sensor code and it didn't return. Uh, so that was a result. I didn't manage to film as much as I wanted of this, but uh, we started the car up after we did it and we still had the light on. Let me just change the camera. So this light, and it wasn't going out like that, but as you can see, it now goes out. And if I start the car, we have no engine management, and no brake warning lights and yeah good news it basically I had to clear the fault from uh, the uh, ECU using my laptop and then literally the light was still on and then about 50 meters down the road the uh, ESP light and the steering sensor light went out so all sorted, ready for its MOT. Great news, got back from the MOT and we've got a pass. And I'll keep doing that. And yeah, if we have a look here. All the lights are going out so excellent news now I need to get the timing belt done because turns out it hasn't been done for at least nine years uh, I spoke to the person that I bought it from and um, it hadn't been done in their ownership so that's the next thing to get done on this and then uh, yeah, maybe we'll run it around for a while but uh, that's it for this video See you in the next one.